SharePoint Site Architecture. Understanding SharePoint Site Architecture is vital to understanding SharePoint as a whole. Every SharePoint implementation will start with the top level or root site. The top level site is not unique or special. It is simply the first site in the hierarchy. Every top level site can have subsites, and subsites as a term refers merely to the order that the sites are created in. Subsites are created subsequent to the top level site, and as many subsites can be created as are necessary. In addition, each subsite may have multiple subsites, creating a pyramid of sites within the SharePoint structure. This formation is called a site collection. Each SharePoint web application may comprise multiple site collections, and these site collections vary in size, depending on an organization's specific needs. One of the more common reasons for multiple site collections within an organization is so that each department or group may have a separate site collection. In a large organization, you may find that dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of SharePoint sites are needed, and as the company grows, so will its SharePoint network. From the perspective of an administrator, all sites in a site collection share the same properties or characteristics. These characteristics can be metadata, structures, content types, branding, etc. SharePoint Document Storage and Workflows SharePoint has many functions. Amongst the most important of these functions are its document storage and workflow automation capabilities. To better understand SharePoint's document management capabilities, it is necessary to first define what exactly a document is and how it is stored. In simplest terms, a document is a digital file containing data or information. In SharePoint, documents can be organized into libraries. A SharePoint list is one of the simplest ways of storing and managing data in SharePoint. Anything that can be a list can be a SharePoint list. A SharePoint list is a container for information that functions like a database or spreadsheet. Data is arranged in rows, and each row is referred to as a list item. An example of a SharePoint list could be a contact sheet with personal information including names, contact details, etc. Various levels of access may be granted to a list. A list may be visible to all, or it could be restricted to a certain user or group of users. A SharePoint library is also a list. However, a library is a list of documents. You can also have one or more libraries in the site. Similar to the SharePoint library is the SharePoint Record Center. A Record Center is a digital archive of documents. Documents can have lifetimes within their respective libraries, and after a certain point, documents will automatically go to the Record Center. When a more powerful or large-scale document management solution is required, that is, hundreds or thousands of documents and associated metadata, documents may be stored within a SharePoint Document Center. This large-scale repository of documents is essentially a database with powerful search capabilities. To investigate SharePoint workflows, it will first be helpful to define what a SharePoint workflow actually is. A SharePoint workflow is defined by Microsoft as a set of pre-programmed many applications that streamline and automate a wide variety of business processes. Simply put, workflows automate business or work processes. Workflows can range from setting reminders, giving feedback, or sending emails. SharePoint workflows are designed to save you time and effort and to bring consistency and efficiency to tasks that you perform on a regular basis. The best way to start your company's SharePoint journey is to have a needs analysis done at your company. Contact Sound Idea Digital today to arrange a meeting.